hi everyone welcome to the channel in today's video i am going to show you how to integrate firebase authentication into your react application built with beat first let's set up our firebase project for that go to the firebase console go to the firebase console console.firebase.google.com and then press enter and then press enter here it will ask you for authentication provide your email and then password once login once you log into the firebase console click on get started with a firebase project click on here here enter project name enter project name enter project name and click continue disable google analytics click create project it's preparing your project please wait it's preparing your project please wait now it's provisioning resources now it's provisioning resources once we are done with the setting up project we can move with the remaining steps so now our firebase project is ready click on continue click on continue here under our project go to authentication section go to authentication section here go to authentication section and click on it here click on get started click on get started and then select or enable sign in methods whatever sign in methods you want i am going with email password for this demo email password sign in for this demo click on here enable email password click save click save okay we are now done with we are now done with enabling authentication for our project enabling authentication for our project now click on project overview here we we here we have to register our app okay here we have to register our app in order to use firebase in our react with project for that click on web okay and then provide nickname for our app here i am giving react firebase react firebase and then click on register app register app okay now we are done with now we are done with setting up firebase project as well as registering our application with the firebase project so that we can use firebase in our react with application okay and then click on continue to console now let's move on to the next steps to see the next steps are similar i mean uh, yeah let me go to this again okay uh, they should be yep the next step is we should install firebase and then we should use this configuration to initialize our firebase we should use this configuration to initialize our firebase that will come to later first later part first let's go with installing firebase in our react react application okay react application for that go to vs code and then here here type command i have already created a with uh, uh, react project so uh, before we are installing the firebase we should create a with react project since i have already done i'm skipping that part here now go to npm install firebase go to install and then firebase click enter this will install firebase package 
which is required for our authentication which is required for our authentication okay which is required for our authentication once we are done with this installation we'll go with the next step that is setting up environment variables that is setting up environment variables okay that is setting up environment variables let's yeah we are now done with installing npm package that is firebase package we are done with installing it now now let's secure our firebase configuration which we created earlier using environment variables using environment variables for that let's create let's create a file that is dot env dot local file dot env dot local environment variable file this is to keep our environment variables just press enter and come here inside here we will add our firebase configuration inside here we will add our firebase configuration for that what we can do is first let's go to the firebase project which we created and then copy all the configuration copy all the configuration okay here copy this entire configuration we don't require all we need only this configuration copy and then just paste it here so that you can easily update your environment variables now what you have to do is we should create our environment variables for our firebase configuration for that wait firebase firebase api equal to just copy this firebase api key next wait firebase auth domain domain equal to with this don't use this configuration why because after this demo i am going to delete this configuration i mean this uh, firebase project so it won't work so you should create your own uh, firebase project uh, in order to authenticate uh, your react application with the firebase authentication okay and the next is beat firebase project id equals to with this next storage bucket wait this storage bucket equals to next is message messaging sender id at base messaging sender id equals to final one is app id Final one is app ID. Wait. Web base. App ID equals to. Now we can remove this. We don't. This. Yes. And then save it. Then save it. Okay. Now we are done with. we are done with securing our securing our firebase configuration using environment variables 
see why we created dot local is it won't uh, it will be added to the git ignore file and then if you automatically it will add it to the git ignore file so that we don't create or we don't uh, push it to the git server okay git server if you if you want to check that also you can check here if you click on this git ignore see here dot local any file with extension dot local will be ignored to add to the uh, git server so that we don't push our sensitive information to the git server even by mistake also okay now we are done with now we are done with adding or securing our firebase configuration the next thing is the next thing is we should initialize our firebase we should initialize firebase in our project for that for that let's create for that let's create okay let me go to uh, let's create firebase file J javascript file in the source okay here just create a file firebase firebase dot js and then the center here we should we should uh, add our firebase configuration which we got which we got when we created our firebase project for that let's go to the firebase project and then copy this whole thing copy this whole thing and now come to vs code and paste it here come to vs code and paste it here okay now come to our vs code and paste it here we should replace this uh, Firebase configuration, which we actually added to the environment variables. Now we should read this configuration from this configuration from environment uh, variables file. Environment variables file. Okay. For that, let me do one thing. Import import dot meta dot env import dot meta dot env dot simply copy the first variable that is api key okay copy it and then paste it here in the similar way let me copy this i will replace variable letter first let me copy and then paste it here I'll be using shortcut here. Yeah. Okay, now the thing is we should replace the environment variables for each and everything. So for auth ID, auth domain, this is the environment variable. So Z ID. And for storage bucket, read Firebase API key, then app ID. Okay, now oh, let's save. After this, we dot in the coming sections. Const equal to get auth pass app okay now let's save now let's say with this with this we are done with we are done with initializing our firebase okay initializing our firebase using the configuration using the configuration from environment variables file and this sets up the firebase authentication this sets up the firebase authentication now the next thing is to implement authentication in our react project for that we should for that we should create one component that is auth component let me create a folder components folder components folder under components let me create under components 
let me create one more com I mean component here that is Firebase authentication. Firebase authentication. Fire Firebase authentication component. This can be anything. You can name it anything, but I'm giving just Firebase authentication. Authentication dot JSX. Okay, here, here. Let me add our code for our authentication component. That is where I will be uh, designing two input fields to enter email and password, and then three buttons. That is one one for sign in, one for sign up, one for sign out. Okay, one for sign out. Let me create. This is the basic structure of our component, and then here let me add. As I said, first thing is first thing is. Let me remove this and then div compound div, uh, div element so inside div what i'm going to do is i'm first putting an adder i'm adding an adder for that let me add h2 so i'm going to use uh, uh, tailwind css uh, for styling so tailwind css for styling let me add styling as well let me add styling as well max width max width and then margin auto margin top 10 okay and then here for header i'm going to use last name text to excel hold margin bottom 6 x center okay text center x center so inside here let me add firebase authentication yes authentication this is about header now let me add the input elements let me add input elements okay div div this name let me add a chin bottom oh. inside here put input type text it's a default one but we want to enter email type is email place folder enter email or email whatever email and then value will be setting it to state variable okay for that let me create one state variable email set email use that initial value will be empty okay so this is about so we are actually reading the value of email input field from the state variable state variable now in the similar way the similar way let me add let me add on change event so that when we enter value into the input field email input field we will be updating state variable on change on change simply update simply update our state variable is set email then set it to e dot e dot target dot value e dot target dot value okay e dot target dot value now the next thing is let me add style for this and put tag this input tag is simply we will be adding 
width full width full then padding 3 third border 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 color gray border color gray 300 okay that rounded rounded so with this we are done with adding our input element let me format this let me format this so now the next thing is now the next thing is we should add we should add our input tag or input element for to enter password so i simply copy i simply copy paste and then change the value here type is password and placeholder is password placeholder is password and then value also we will be reading from the state variable again so let me create state variable password set password set password initially it will be empty okay now let me copy paste here then even on change also we will be holding that value then we change value in the password field into state variable again okay state variable again now the next thing is let me add let me add buttons let me add okay here let me add buttons add buttons for that i'm using again div container here let me add styles want to make it as a flex so that i can uh, arrange all buttons in same row arrange all buttons in the same row flex flex space between each flex item will be 4 space between each flex item will be now let me add button let me add button button on the name it as sign up sign up Let me add style style and then I'll add event as well. On click what this button should handle. Okay. Easy. Blue. Easy blue. Background blue. That is background color is blue. And then text color is white. Text color is white that let me add adding on y axis 2 adding on y axis 2 adding on x axis 4 that is padding on y axis is vertical and then this is horizontal padding on x axis means horizontal okay so that let me rounded me rounded the button then on hover over on hover over let me change the color to pg let me change the color to bg blue bg blue 600 i just want to change the color brighten the color from 500 to 600 when we hover over on the button okay when we hover over on the button in the similar way let me add on click event on click on click what it should do is i simply add one simply call one function that is handle handle sign up chn till sign up okay handle sign up till sign up let me first copy this button for all remaining buttons and then i'll change the properties here it's a sign in say sign in last one is sign out okay last one is sign out and the color here is green color here is green here also green next for this sign out let me add color 
red so red okay now we are done with adding classes for each button now the thing is we should change this handler function that is for sign in it's sign in handle sign in for sign out it's handle sign out let me add let me add let me add all those functions okay let me start with let me start with sign out for sign up first let me start with sign up first copy this then go up yeah yeah first sign up sign up this should be async why because we are going to use we are going to call third party apis sync sync inside this this try catch block sync try catch block so inside try block first what we have to do is when we when we when user clicks on sign up we should create a user we should create a user by calling the methods of firebase firebase project okay for that what i can do is const user credential const user credential equals to wait and then here we should call here we should call create user with email and password create user with email and password create user with email and password that is the first one for which we should pass for which we should pass two things one is authentication object authentication object and then email and password of user email and password of user email password okay this email and password we are storing in state variables email and password so i'm getting the values from there that's why i passed email and password to this uh, to this method to this method this will create a user and then give it back to the user credentials now what i want to do here is i would like to add or update the profile of user to add display name so that i can use the display name while uh, displaying a message when user signs up okay now what i'm doing is i'm going to update i'm going to update i'm going to update user profile i'm going to update user profile that is update profile update profile and then for which for which i should pass i should pass the user information okay i can get it from user credential which we got when we created user dot user dot user user credentials dot user okay comma i just want to update display name display name okay i just want to update display name to update display name to see i want to capture the um, name from the email that is before at the rate whatever the text is there i want to keep that as a display name okay for that what i am doing is i simply i simply split the email field split it with the split it with at the rate so that i can extract the text before at the rate symbol text before at the rate symbol and then use index 0 okay this will update this will update display name for our user this will update display name for our user okay now the next thing is once we are done with this the next thing is what we have to do is we should simply display an alert saying that user signed up okay user signed up for that let me get the let me get the user 
user name For that what I can do is I can simply use use credential dot current user dot current user mm, okay sec what use credential it's auth from authentication object I can get the current user not showing here dot okay let me try current user dot current user dot display name current user dot display name display name okay now let me add alert user user username which we extracted here which we extracted here username is signed up okay simply use user signed up Signed up. Let me save this. Then let me add. Let me add the catch. Before catch, let me add. Once we create a user, we should actually set the state variables to empty. Okay, so that our fields or uh, input boxes will be empty again. Otherwise, whatever the email and password we entered will stay. Uh, till we enter again new value okay i don't want to do that let me set email to empty and then password also to empty password also to empty set password to empty okay now inside catch if something goes wrong i would like to throw an error i would like to throw an error okay simply i will alert or show an alert with error message with error message error error dot message okay, I would like to show an error message an error message if something goes wrong during user sign up during user sign up okay now we save this then format it let me format it one more time okay look good now the next thing is we should add for this handle sign in for handle sign in okay for that just handle sign in sync sync again try catch block okay inside try inside try we should use we should use the method from firebase to sign in our user to sign in our user okay for that avoid sign in sign in with sorry sign in with email and password sign in with email and password for which we should pass authentication object and then email then password this will make the user sign into the application if something goes wrong i will we should catch error and then display that error okay let me add here let me add here alert alert but before that what we want to do is um, okay let me do i mean error only display alert error dot message 
so if something goes wrong i am going to show an alert with error message so if user is successful if user is successfully logged into the application what i want to do is i would like to display an alert saying that user and then username username signed in okay for that let me get for that let me get username logged into the application same way i can get this as i said here right i can simply use this to get the name of user logged in and then after that let me show you an alert is here instead of sign up i can do sign in okay pressure here user username signed in okay sign instead of sign up i can simply say signed in okay now in the similar way let me set email and password to empty email and password to empty okay now we are done with second method as well that is handling sign in now let's handle sign out let's handle sign out for that just state is i can simply then simply and this is also async okay async try cache try catch so if i want to check whether the user is logged in or not what i can do is i can simply check for the null condition if auth dot current user if auth dot current user that means if, if at all the current user is not null then only i want to perform then only i want to perform authentic i mean sign out otherwise if at all if it's current user is null that means no user signed in okay no user signed in for that let me do if if current user that means if a an user if an user already signed in i should sign out okay for that sign out sign out for which we should pass only one thing that is one parameter that is authentication object now if now if something goes wrong now if something goes wrong okay now if something goes wrong let me do one thing once if user sign out i should display one alert saying that again same thing i should get the username first i should get the username first for that let me copy this code and then then get it okay and then get it just if at all current user is available if at all current user is available i'll be getting the name and then sign out inside sign out what i can do is i simply say alert user signed out okay user signed out okay user signed out if if user is not current user is null if current user is null i simply display an alert saying that no user logged in simply display no user logged in okay simply display no user logged in okay no user logged in if something goes wrong this sign out, during this sign out process let's display the alert error message in alert okay now we are now done with we are now done with all three methods to handle our sign in sign out and then sign up okay sign in sign out and then sign up now what i want to do is let let me show you let me show you demo let me show you demo for that let me go to here and then use that firebase authentication component which we created just now which we created just now save it and then let me start application the command to start application is npm run dev npm run 
press enter press enter yeah we our application started on localhost 5173 port just click on this follow link just click on this follow link let me do one thing let me go to the browser let me go to the browser and then open and then open our application link okay our application link is uh, okay yeah okay localhost 5173 getting error is the error get out is not defined get out is not defined we check what is the error we check what is the error here firebase yep save it and then go to browser then go to browser refresh Eighteen twenty one. Eighteen Somehow it's not it's not getting imported here. Add import. Get get out. Sort location. And save it. Now let's go to the browser. Then see. Yep. Our issue gone now. See, we have a email, password fields, and then sign up, sign in, and sign out. Now let's test sign up functionality first. For that, let me add test with it test dot com. And then password test one two three. Click sign up defined is undefined check in the we check in the code handle si sign up functionality we check on the handle sign up functionality we go to yes code so side firebase authentication what we are doing here we are simply Mm -hmm. We are not getting okay. they are not uh, methods whatever we are using not imported here let me do for all sign in as well sign in then sign out as well it's application sign out and then you can update profile as well it's update so control space update see all got added save this now go to now go to browser and then check sign up functionality let me refresh and enter test dot com test test one okay click on sign up mm. you are getting null here instead of test username 
you check that as well check that as well okay there is inside sign up we are coming we are passing username there is authentication and password then set email change setting the email names action the display the correction dot the getting username as empty display name User check now before that uh, credentials see it should use a white that it provides as well now let me check in the user one click sign up yep now we got user test one signed up user test one signed up the issue here is uh, we actually should use await uh, before update uh, profile why because it's again we are calling the uh, api from the firebase so we should wait till the response comes so there is the reason we should use async await so now we we corrected our mistake here it's not working so that is that is our uh, sign up so now let's test sign in let's test sign in okay test one test dot com test one two three click sign in see here user test one signed in now test sign out user test one signed out see now without doing any login let's see what we get uh, when we sign out see no user logged in since we haven't logged in with any user we are getting no user logged in okay no user logged in this is all about uh, uh, today's video where we discussed about uh, integrating firebase authentication with our react Vite project react Vite project if you found this video useful please do like and subscribe to my channel to support me thanks for watching